Mr. Drew, and can you know, you song that's who can everything was already done ot and auto in the back take so i i do writing for uh, i mean other artists as well aj kamejuma and hontino sometimes ultimate you be not you know this song there now before we get into the video let me just let you know that songwriting or writing a song for somebody is not bad as an artist if somebody writes a song for you it is not a crime Beyonce, to the left, to the left, it was written by Neo. A uh, Rihanna, about a round of applause, standing ovation, it was written by Neo. Rihanna, yeah, shine bright like a diamond, it was written by Sia. Cassie, any in any in me and you now. So tell me if you like it, it was written by Ryan Leslie. Rihanna, ram pa pa pam, ram pa pa pam, man down. It was written by Rock City and Chantel. Even if you go to Ghana, in Ghana, a friend saying, Kwabna Kwabna, saw his song be that he was singing a Aweno. Sonya Makuna Walo, Makuna Walo, Hafina Kwabna. It was written by IBM. Stoneboy has written songs for Miss V. A Kwame Eugene has written songs for Miss V. A lot of artists have written songs for a lot of artists. It is not a crime to write a song for somebody. It doesn't mean you are not talented. If somebody writes a song for you, it doesn't mean you are not talented. Let's just put that in the bucket. Now, Leia Twasso. We know Mr. Drew Case. He released this song, the original featuring a strong man and Sister Fia. And then a few months later, he released the remix featuring Mofti. And now that remix is the biggest song in Ghana. But then come Eugene had an interview with Nana Donkwata, NBA. And in the interview, Kwame Eugene said that he wrote a song for Mr. Drew. But Mr. Drew has not given him the credit that he deserves. Watch this video. Me feel opposite on this. There's a pub there. Mr. Rano Pass, I don't know if Even though Drew hasn't done what he's supposed to do with the song, you know, I mean, well, well, well there, there, there's some issue we need to solve over that song because it's doing good right now. Still crying. Anytime I better see a boss, I know my energy because this, this is my product. What you are saying? Mr. Drew didn't come three days ago. Yeah, yeah, like you said, you know. Right. Well, I guess I'm going to make sure you know. No, no, I mean, the son is saying, a ya or not or so to me, sure, and will be so to me, sure, man, or no sort of into a kind of saying, yeah, you're okay, man. But me me na me nimti yem bisa no unko mo so. But o catch them inti ni. I say say obe obe I say say oba no be ye obe obe ye ni amo me ye shots. I say obe yes. I mean I I see it's 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 quite unfortunate. Said this is the platform. I have to send a message to Mr. Drew. Said he needs to do what's what's needed because the song is doing good. Because that who could add it. Thank you, Uda. It's, it's, it's a magical. Come here, I'm a two-madia. Thank you, Beko. 
because I wrote that song thinking about Wish Me Well. Oh, yeah, well, Wish Me Well vibe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, baby, I need to My God, be my provider. And, uh, and uh, um, um, them say hustle, hustle for the paper. My boy, the hustle and so I didn't think, baby, baby, see how we go make them. Only my young man say me, there's a Kwame Eugene vibe. Eh, bra penny, and canny and wood. Yes, I'm a big man, I but I had to change that part because the Okay. And it will sound a bit different, or no to But that normal. So I had to repeat that twice, even before he got there. Oh, yes, yes. I'm just I'm just wishing. He's a brother. And Minya and ka, entertainment industry, you know, you bet yes, yes, I say. So be a say, yeah. you, you just allocate what the person deserves to him and you just give respect to the person so we can move on as individuals. What you say, but I'm banished. All I had from him was, yo, bro, that's all make me knock. And that was when we were American, okay? Yes. That time, no, no, or, or text him and say, on dropping your man now. And who said your time difference, no? America, ni Ghana, ni. Next time, I think, say na mada. And you know, me sorry, I no pan one one friend, me manager or anyone, cause na me name management and nam. Okay, see me ni pan eba. One friend obia, he has which is number and all. One friend obia. And the next thing I me huni say, obia no oh na me try nyom no. I say ah, your boy dropped the song. And till me text him and say, Jew, the song was up. I no be share your blue tick. One can save you. A ticket blue and no jay. But me, me, <coughs> baby, cast and I make us it's quite unfortunate. This is the platform I'm explaining myself because and call the text him. He said, Oh, yeah, I know. I will send whatever, whatever, make you sign, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I even have to call Kewa and tell Kewa, say, Oh, him say, Mantra and you know, for that purpose, right? Because it sounded like me to some more come up on this or Bob or Bob Emma, highly spiritual. And I'm that with highly spiritual. In fact, the fact that uh, before I'll be back, I bet record this annual. No, it was Kewa and a man a coin there. Musa on Bamber recording mm -hmm. because Mini Kewa had that close. And you know, now me wish she said a beer or be dropping you no know, through Kewa. So because Kewa and the car said on brass did you honor me and you know, and a man is and you have to call Kewa and let Kewa know. Say so, him say me sign him in that way. Right? Yes, what you see, me me freak you. I say. Hope he knows him in San Nim in that way. Say, make sure your mama do say on Sabi on family did on any label at him because me yes, sign anyway. But it's quite unfortunate. So, one consulting Kewa, me one consulting me. All 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 he did say, but dropping you know. In see, I can actually make it a legal case. What you say? I can actually make it a legal case. But uh, uh, yeah, well, brother, I don't think so. I think so. Uh, and yes, well, brother, I think he should he should see me. Okay, so Mr. Du sent me to give Kwame Eugen credit. Kwame Eugen, uh, MTN, 7516-2252. Chester, <laughs> <laughs> uh, according to Kwame Eugen, according to Kwame Eugen, Mr. Du has not given him credit. Now, this credit that he's talking about, it may mean two different things. One, as in Mr. Du saying it out loud or acknowledging that, yes, Kwame Eugen wrote this song. Or two, him having been paid for writing the song as an split sheet, royalties and stuff like that. Now, if we if we focus on number one, as in the whole uh, um, saying that is Kwame Eugene who wrote it in Mr. Du has done it. Because on an interview on TV3 New Day, Mr. Du said it plain plain that this song case that we are all jamming to know, it was written three years ago. He wrote it together with a uh, friend saying Kwame Eugene. Three years ago, on a high life beat. But then when he decided to release it now, in 2023, then he changed the beat to Ama Piano because it's Ama Piano that is going. Meanwhile, the original song was written on a high life beat. Kwame Eugene High Life. Watch this video. No, no, no. But that's what, that's what the streets are saying. Funny enough, that song is three years old. This song? Yeah. Case oh, is three years old, yeah. You're kidding. I wrote it three years ago, yeah. Uh -huh. Wait, a couple so of... why did you release it now? Because I was looking for a song to release next, and then I was going through the beats that I had. 
So this is not the actual beat. It's a high life song. Okay. You understand? But I was going through the beats that I had, and then I sang that song. Okay. So I sang Case on an Amapiano. Ama piano. Beat. You get it. What's the story of Case? At the time you wrote it three years ago. Yeah. What, what was so, the story? So so um, hey, this story. <laughs> Tell us so, about it. Um, actually, actually wrote the song with Kwame Eugene. Okay. Yeah, I wrote the song with Kwame Eugene. Um, and then I was planning to release that instead of later featuring Kelvin Boy. Oh. That time the whole Rotimi thing was happening. Oh, yeah. you so, didn't give me attitude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so instead of um, releasing this song, case. I released I release later featuring Kelvin Boy. Okay. So I was supposed to release this um, case. Then, yeah, then. With Kwame Eugene. Yeah. Why was it not? No, it wasn't understand? with Kwame Eugene. With okay. one of, I think he was trying to uh, manage some artists as well. So he put them on the at the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he, he, not he himself, no, 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 but no. another artist yeah, yeah. at the time. Yeah. So he wrote it. You co wrote, you co authored like, it. We we both wrote it. Wrote it. Yeah, yeah. But he was not going to feature on no, it. No, 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 no. Okay. Like he made suggestions. I mean, if somebody says, "Oh, add even there to right. the song," they've right. co authored. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, okay. Now, even with this, you no, know, Mister Du said that he wrote the song with Kwame Eugene. And Kwame Eugene is saying that he wrote the song, the whole song. Now, Kwame Eugene didn't write me, uh, Sister Fia's part. He didn't write Strongman's part. He didn't write Mufti's part. But the whole day, say hustle, hustle for the paper. He wrote it. Now, baby, I say, why well, he wrote it? A brah penny, he wrote it. That's what Kwame Eugene is saying. Now with this, you know, that means the credit of saying or mentioning who wrote the song, you know, Mr. Drew has given it to Kwame Eugene. Now then the case of royalty is Kwame Eugene being paid. Because all the talking he's talking, it is, it is money talking that he's talking. So now with this, when things were escalating, people were tagging Mr. Drew, say, hey, Mr. Drew, so now you are not the one who wrote the song. And Kwame Eugene said he wrote the song. And you've not given him his credit, neither any. Mr. Duke came to tweet, he said, come again. <laughs> I, Mr. Duke said, come again. That's all he said. Because he there, yeah, he knows that, oh, he has said on an interview that is Kwame Eugene who wrote it. But maybe the rest of the things, but he hasn't done it. Now, maybe Kwame Eugene is saying all these things because he feels like Mr. Duke has released the song in a time where it may seem the song is being directed at, at Kewa, like a shade to Kewa. Because in Kwame Eugene's submission, he, was, he kept hammering that in, in, so that it shouldn't look like he wrote the song as an insult to Kewa. Ne, 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 ne. But all the same, no. Mr. Drew was being pressured that, hey, chairman, hey, they come again that you came to write. Ne, de, 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 de. What do you have to say about Kwame Eugene's assertions? Are you giving him credit? Aside mentioning his name in interviews, was there a split sheet? Is his name in the metadata? Have you written his name that song composed or song written by Kwame Eugene? What is going on? Now, Mr. Dew was on TikTok Live and he had a lot to say. People kept bringing the question, said, have you heard what Kwame Eugene is saying? What do you have to say about it? And this is what Mr. Dew had to say. Watch this video. Everyone wants to know about what you have to say about the comment. I actually have nothing to say. All I can say is stream, go and stream the song. That's all. That's my answer. Go and stream the song. That's the same energy now. More person on phone. Yeah, because stream the song. You get it. Yeah. Fasa energy now. It pushes me. That's just it. Fasa energy now. You all get so excited when you know stuff like this happen, but it doesn't it doesn't help the work. So use that energy now. Nah, take support the team. Yeah, like that. Negativity. We can we can think. You know, every time killer man get bad mind, you get it. So it's up to us to cleanse ourselves. What I say, cleanse your mind. Focus on good things. Focus on. So me, all these vlogs and always posting drama, and I don't even follow them. And I advise my fans, if you love me, 
Yeah, no follow those things. You don't need that. Tell him on you. Was it will be new, will be cool. It will be bull, be dear. Challenge. Those things, you know, you know, you know, really they help. Come back to MK. Daniela, thank you. Those things don't really, and you realize that you start your day with drama. And you are not moving anywhere the whole day. And it's gonna continue the whole year. And then you, you, you grow up and then you start blaming somebody. Meanwhile, you've been feeding you yourself now because you're not happy inside. Somebody is posting about somebody cursing somebody. Somebody is fighting somebody. Somebody. Every time. Every time. On him, I thank you. Every time. So feed yourself with positive things. Like, I'm here to preach positivity. Feed yourself with positive vibes, bro. When it's time for violence, we'll do the violence. But for now, yeah. And the first, first, hey, first step is by not following those blo- those blocks that are so hungry for like drama. You see, unfortunately, this is the truth that I'm telling. You. Unfortunately, most of our people are, you know. Every of us didn't go, go to school or our moms and stuff. They didn't have like further education. They had to hustle on the street and things. You see, so I don't know saying they feed that the, the people have taken advantage of that and they are feeding people wrong things like feeding people just bad vibes. To be a black mind. Be a black mind. So feed yourself with positivity, child. And that's why it's good to travel. Because when you travel, the lifestyle here is different. I mean, this is not my first time traveling. But every time I travel, I learn. You get it. Because people, people are minding their business. People are working on themselves. It's good to travel. We share corner home on Sahana. Why do you need Honestly. Because people be feeding wrong things, wrong things, wrong things. And when you step outside the country, they know that, oh, okay. There's, there's, there are stuff beyond, you know. It's like you're living in a compound house and then you travel. You experience new things, your mentality changes.
he is entitled to like maybe 25 percent i don't know how it works in there but whatever it is no please settle this amicably now this is what is going on between Kwame Eugen and Mr. Du and I don't think this should be an issue because this thing can be settled with just a phone call. It doesn't need to come out for us to talk about it but at the same time, if we don't talk about it, who will talk about it? <laughs> I, so yes, yes, this is what's going on between Kwame Eugen and Mr. Du. Let me know in the comment section and yes, we are back. The voice is voicing now. So yes, the videos will be coming more and more. And I don't know, watch other videos on this channel. Thank you so much for sticking with me. We are 4,000 subscribers away from 100k. Kindly subscribe, tell somebody about Headless. And I don't know. Yeah, then. Yeah,